All right, well, have and have not fans, based off the title, you're probably thinking, Jeremy, you have lost your, excuse the language, damn mind for doing this video. I, I know that you're hurting. The show isn't going to be on until early 2020, and I, I know you're a full-time YouTuber, and you need to make videos to create more content, to create more ad revenue, to pay your bills, and yeah, I, I got to do all those things, and you know, if you want to help me out, just hit the subscribe button if you're new because, well, every subscriber does help in the long run and past the 90,000 mark now. So we are getting closer and closer to 100,000. So hit that subscribe button now before just discrediting this video. This is a fun video. This isn't just a throwaway video. I was actually watching an episode of Meet the Browns on BET Plus, and BET Plus is not sponsoring this video, yet I'm still giving them free advertisement, just like you will get a free week of signing up for BET Plus after the first week. That's when your $9.99 a month payment start, just to go kind of throw that out there. But I was watching an episode of Meet the Browns, and I was I was just thinking, because you know, sometimes people just ask me, Jeremy, why doesn't If Loving You is Wrong, why doesn't The Haves and The Have Nots do crossovers, and um, you know that based off Tyler Perry doing, you know, um, uh, videos where he would drive around his uh, Tyler Perry studio property and show us the different locations where films and television shows are shot, if Loving You is Wrong is literally basically on the same street as the haves and the have nots and Medea lives like behind Veronica's house on another corner of the street. And I was just thinking, you know, what if Mr. Brown, hear me out now, what if Mr. Brown was Veronica Harrington's father? And I know that in the show's continuity, Veronica's father passed away. Um, all we know about him is the fact that he did not like Jim at all due to the fact that he was sued um, according to Jim, I sued the hell out of her father, and that's why Veronica's mom doesn't care for Jim Cryer either. But I was thinking, you know, Mr. Brown, Veronica, mm, first of all, the mother. That's something I really wish we knew more about. And no, I'm not going to go into the whole Veronica's mom needs to show up. I already did a bunch of videos like that like a year or so ago. But Mr. Brown as Veronica's dad. Now, first of all, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. And if we're talking about the show's continuity, it's like, well, if Mr. Brown is Veronica's dad, then he's dead, right? Yes and no. Number one, if Mr. Br based off what we know of Veronica, if Mr. Brown was your father, would you really claim to be hit, you know, his son? Veronica would pull a Candace. If you go back to like season one, Hannah, I mean, Hannah was someone that, you know, Candace told a lot of people that her mother was dead. She, in episode one, she told the Harringtons and the Criers, oh, my mom is my mom died. So <laughs> right when Hannah was serving drinks. So basically, Veronica could disown her father saying that he's dead. But well, given the fact that Jim and David know that the father's dead, that means in the show's continuity, if Mr. Brown is her father, he's dead. But I think the most damning giveaway answer is down to the clothing. Right before Maggie Day appeared in the series, you know, when Maggie Day first showed up, she was just like uh, making all these changes and, you know, getting information. After she met with Jim and David, she met with the wives, Veronica and Catherine, just getting information on the families. And, you know, OK, um, Veronica, Miss Harrington. You need to tone down your wardrobe, excuse me? No, no, you're very fashionable, but your outfits are too loud. And when I thought about it, going back to like season one, yeah, that is very true. Her colors were very in your face, a lot of accessories. Go back to those early episodes. I'm not saying Veronica did not look good. That is not what I'm saying at all. But her outfits from the early episodes and then compare those to after Maggie Day suggested that she toned down her outfit. Sharp contrast. And then if you notice down to Jeffrey, and it's not just the fact that, you know, he's a homosexual, but based off the early episodes, you know, before he came out, Veronica was getting on him for wearing, you know, these, you know, multi like stripes and fl floral, not wearing like solid manly colors. I mean, even later on in the series, he was wearing those uh, colorful outfits. Doesn't that, doesn't that just reek of granddaddy brown <laughs> i'm just saying guys it would be hilarious and guys i know you're probably thinking what if medea was married to brown in the haves and the have-nots continuity 
and then by extension, that would make Medea the mother of Veronica. That would explain a lot, to be completely honest. This could be a way for Tyler Perry to actually put Medea in the haves and the have-nots. And once again, you want to go to the whole house location thing. Veronica's house is right across the street. You know, well, from the back of Veronica's house, you can see Medea's house across the street. So I'm just saying, you know, for a fun theory, this could actually work. But it really depends because if you look at a Medea family funeral, the movie, um, Eddie... Joel Rush as a cop named Eddie or Edward is in the movie. However, it's not confirmed that this is the same Eddie from If Loving You Is Wrong continuity because if it was, that means the Medea Cinematic Universe is actually connected to the TV series If Loving You Is Wrong. And if there was any kind of connection established between If Loving You Is Wrong and the haves and the have nots by extension, that would mean if loving you is wrong and the haves and the have nots are all in the same universe with the Medea cinematic universe. However, we don't have that established link, so this is all head canon, but it's all in good fun. And given the fact that Medea, or excuse me, I'm sorry, that Veronica's mom hates Jim as a result for suing the hell out of her, hell out of her husband. Yeah, Jim might need the Malones as backup to deal with Medea, but even still, you know, that purse, whew, let's not even go there. So guys, like I said, this is just, uh, excuse me, this was just a fun video. Can you imagine Dave and meeting Mr. Brown for the first time? It's like, um, hello, Mr. Brown. Um, uh, well, actually, no, wait, Veronica Harrington, well, that's not to say she couldn't have well, wait, I'm sorry, I actually messed it up. Because I thought for a second, no, wait, he couldn't be Mr. Brown because Veronica Harrington. But then I thought, duh, David Harrington, she took his name. So, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Brown, it's, it's nice to meet you. Oh, come I can't really do a good with Brown. I was like, oh, come here, David, look at you, looking all good. Got the got the suit on and everything. What was that? What's that, Versace? He's like, uh, no, um, this is from uh, Men's Warehouse. I mean, I, I'm only speaking from where I live at in terms of where to get the best outfits, you know, like, Brewing to co-factory men's warehouse so i, I imagine i i mean i don't really know did they ever establish what david's upbringing was like i don't know if he would according to veronica she made him who what he is so i'm going to assume david didn't really come from a rich which or well rich or wealthy family so let's just say they met yeah they met in law school so we could just say they're they're um you know they're what young 20s or whatever whenever i don't i don't know when he went to law school i'm just going to assume you know early mid 20s so let's just say at that time before he was a lawyer men's warehouse is where he would shop or belt no this is a men's warehouse it's like well i got these you like these boots i got these white boots they made of a uh, rattlesnake and they're like um uh, no I, I, I never heard of such a brand and then you know veronica is just willing to get out the house by any means necessary so they get married and then this and that. So, God, like I said, a fun, a fun video. And then it's like, you know, Medea just ready to get her daughter out of the house. So that, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. All right. Well, guys, again, fun video here. A good way to close out the weekend. And hey, like I said before, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 100,000 subscribers. I want to get that plaque more than anything else. Uh, next month, I believe, is the grand opening of Tyler Perry's new um Tyler Perry Studios. I've seen more and more cast members from his various movies and TV shows, as well as other celebrities getting those fancy video invites, you know, still looking in the mailbox for mine, but you know, it's all to the good. It's all to the good. But uh, also I saw Tyler Perry shared um, music from her recommending it to be listened to. So if you want to give your boy a shout out online, I'd appreciate it. All you got to do is retweet one of my videos or post one of my videos on your social media. I'm pretty sure that will go a long way to getting me from 90,000 subscribers up to 100, but it's all good. You know, one tweet, it, it, I'm not paying $2,000 for a billboard. I mean, you've already said not to do that, and uh, you never answer my tweets and uh, send a bunch of letters to Tyler Perry Studios. I ain't doing that no more. That was a waste of money in computer ink, but it's, it's all to the good. I, I'll hit 100,000 anyway, Tyler Perry. It's all good, but all jokes aside, but let me know what you think. Medea, Mr. Brown, and the haves and the have not continuity, they got together. And doesn't Veronica have like two sisters? So what if one of her sisters were Cora? What if her other sisters were actually, you know, Christian? And then Veronica is the opposite. She's like the black sheep of the family. No pun intended. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to stop rambling here. Um, check out other videos. I've posted a lot over this weekend. This week, I will not make promises, but I will try to have a green leaf review up on Wednesday instead of like Friday or Saturday. But 
you know, have and have nots takes priority over everything else. So, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Fun video. Let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. Take care. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.